Uh, but first, we do want to get to our headlines, and we start with that weather. Yep, it's, uh, it's kind of nice forecast here. It's a little warming trend heading into the weekend. After a very close per uh, cold period earlier this week, temperatures finally began to climb back to above freezing as we head into the weekend. Highs are still expected to remain below normal. On Sunday, the area could see a possible rain-snow mix. But, hey, it's at least rain and snow. <laughs> I don't know. Though A little bit of warming is, is kind of nice here. So get out those shorts. I'm saying it right now. <laughs> no, nah, don't get out the shorts. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's uh, a little bit of a warming trend here. And uh, it looks like that continues in uh, to next week. So let's keep our fingers crossed for that. All right, it is winter time, and that means only one thing. Alternate side parking. Oh, yeah. This alternate side parking uh, is going to be starting up here on the 15th, November 15th through March 15th. And uh, beginning at 1 a.m. on November 15th, alternate, alternate side parking restrictions are in effect. These restrictions are in effect seven days a week, regardless of the weather, and remain in place until March 15th. Alternate side parking uh, ordinance states, no person in the city of Fitchburg shall park, stop, or leave standing uh, any vehicle between the hours of 1 a.m. and 7 a.m. on the odd side of the street on the even number days calendar. So on the, the even days, and then the even number side on the street on the odd number calendar days. Now I always say this, that <laughs> it's hard to say it, when you look on the screen here, that really helps you understand uh, exactly what we're talking about here. So even side of the street, even day, odd side of the street, odd day. It's easy as that. And, uh, yeah, they'll, uh, they'll be starting to enforce that here uh, on the 15th uh, in the a.m. time. So keep that in mind. All right, Indoors Farmer's Market is going to be happening uh, today. Come on out, uh, 3 o'clock p.m. today. Head out to Promega BTC on the uh, atrium uh, where you can take advantage of uh, your great fall favorites, seasonal and organic produce, preserves, pickled items, maple syrup, walnuts, baked goods, specialty crackers. Huh, specialty crackers? Interesting. I, I, <laughs> I kind of want to see what these crackers, especially crackers, are. Uh, cheese curds, eggs, soap, lotions, and a whole bunch more. And you got a couple more coming up as well. November 21st, December 5th, December 12th, and December 19th. No market on Thanksgiving, though, so don't plan on coming to the BTC on Thanksgiving. Just saying. You may can do the turkey, uh, you know, the turkey run, but yeah. All right, uh, lake levels, aquatic plants, and other lake issues. There's going to be a discussion about this on November 20th, 6 o'clock p.m. at the Stoughton Country Club. And uh, the Friends of uh, Lake Kenosha Society is hosting a talk on the Lake Kaganza. I'm sorry, did I say <laughs> Lake Kaganza? I just skipped right over that, didn't I? Uh, lake levels, aquatic plants, and other lake issues. They are expecting a big turnout, so please register uh, at the website, uh, and we'll share that link with you uh, today uh, so you can check that out. But it's going to be a good talk if you're kind of curious about uh those uh those items all right last week uh while i was out of town i still saw this in the news and i wanted to give you something to think about that's warm <laughs> in some places some places not so much but sun country announces the largest route expansions in dane county regional airport history that's right non-stop service to boston nashville newark portland newark i, I always say newark newark seattle all begins may 2020 yeah how about that i want to go like right now uh yeah twice weekly on that uh, and here's the airports that they will be serving so uh if you're familiar yeah, i'm an airport guy so you know i, I want to know where i'm going <laughs> uh pretty cool stuff here uh and again as uh, it said in the, the last slide there uh, uh twice a week here uh, so check out those times but uh that uh, that is just awesome. And plus, uh, they still have got the flights going uh, to Fort Myers and Tampa, Florida uh, during the wintertime. So I don't know. I think we can uh, finally get out of here with one uh, one flight direct. Who doesn't like uh, who doesn't like that? Just saying. All right. Finally, here uh, we've got uh, this story. Uh, it's called Bar Racks Behind Barks. Barracks. Oh, come on. I want to say Bar Racks. Barracks. Fine. 
Dane County Sheriff sure. fighting with the director has created uh, the Veterans Housing Unit, also known as Barracks Behind Bars. Uh, and uh, it was uh, uh, created here uh, by uh, Dane County Sheriff's Office. This is pretty cool. Dane County Jail uh, Veterans Housing Unit is the first in the state of Wisconsin. The Veterans Housing Unit is an expansion of the Dane County uh, Veterans Court, which uh, was started back in October of 2014. Assigning veterans to one location allows specialized veteran treatment services and offers, offers veterans a supportive environment. Dane County Sheriff's Office uh, commitment to helping veterans is made possible through a, a valuable network of partnerships with local organizations, outside agencies, and other stakeholders. Finally, these combined efforts honor veterans, sacrifices, facilitates successful veteran reentry back into society, and reduces and improves public safety.